So I'm gonna now connect everything on the breadboard according to this uh, schematic here. Okay, the components over there, the sensor, the LM358, I see the relay, transistor, couple of um, transistors, uh, resistors I mean, LED and uh, diode. Okay, so I'm gonna start hooking the LM358, I see, connect the power, pin 8 goes to the positive side and then pin 4 is the ground okay and then you're gonna connect the 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 sensor I'm gonna connect the sensor the temperature sensor at M35 Like so, I'm also gonna connect the power. So pin 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 one is a positive, and then pin three is a ground. Uh, the second pin is a V out, and this goes to pin uh, pin number three on the IC. Okay, uh, shear meter. I'm gonna put right here. So one side of potentiometer connect with the power rail to the posi posi positive side. Okay. The other side negative. Okay. And the center pin. Of, uh, of the wiper, let's say um, this goes to pin 2 okay and then pin 1 is the output via transistor goes to the um, uh, via, via resistors go to the transistor Okay, and then uh, we have to ground the transistor. Okay, so far that's how we have got. And now I'm gonna connect the relay. Okay, so this is the coil side, and this is uh, the switch side. Okay, so once uh, the positive side on the relay, oh, like that, and then the other one side goes to the transistor. Okay. Uh, the other thing we're gonna add is a is a diode across the uh, relay. So the relay is kind of a inductive load, and for that we need to add uh, to add a, a, a flyback diode uh, for preventing the suddenly voltage spike uh, that may occur across the the relay. Okay, and then you're gonna also uh, add an LED indicator. So this means LED will turn on when the relay is on as well. Okay, now circuit look complete. Uh, I'm gonna connect the fan. Okay. I'm gonna extend because it's kind of short here. Extend the lid. 
and then I'm gonna add uh, this second power supply and that is the, on this just this part here okay so my second source of, uh, of energy so this is um, the negative goes on this pin here like so and this is the positive side um, this goes via the relay uh, I don't know if you can see this see the small two pins here down those two pins there And the other pin goes to the phone. Okay. Things look good. And the, the circuit loop complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the power. I'm gonna power it on with the five volt. Okay, the positive rail and the negative. I'm also gonna add a wire here for the relay. Okay, so at this point everything is set up. I'm gonna turn on the um, the potentiometer here until the fan starts turning so that we know everything is working correctly. Oh, of course I have to power. The IC, the, the circuit. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm just gonna turn on the and there you go. So the relay is on, the LED is, in, is, is on as well. So now we're gonna adjust the potentiometer until the fan stop turning. Okay, just stop, and then you're gonna take our soldering iron. Okay, so we're gonna try to heat up the sensor and directly the fan turns on, turns back off again when it's cooled. Try that again, turns on, and now I'm gonna try to turn uh, more uh, uh, clockwise to increase the time before it activates so I'm just gonna no anti-clockwise okay let's try that again so you can see it takes a little bit long, longer before uh, it, re it reaches the temperature to switch the the relay on okay Then you can also go way more as well. This take more of also a little bit of time before it turns on the relay. There you go. That again. Okay, as long uh, uh, as soon as, as the sensor gets cold, switches off the relay. So that includes our video. Um, so things worked as we have seen from the from the computer. Uh, 
So that's the schematic about everything that we just did here. Okay, and everything works correctly. So it's up to you to go and to design more uh, complex with the circuit. You can do uh, something that can uh, always a uh, project and can always um, keep things cool at a certain setup. So uh, if you are is heating iron of a, a box which is uh, creating heat, if you create this circuit in that box, it will uh, the the sensor will ensure that uh, in the box stay cool. Uh, according to the setting of the temperature here so cheers